find integral 0 to 1 sin inverse x dx. So here we have to find value of sin inverse of x dx. So for that we are taking x equal to sin t. In order to make this function into an integrable form, on differentiating with respect to x we will get dx by dt equal to cos t which implies dx equal to cos t dt. So here we have to find integral of 0 to 1 sin inverse x dx. But at first we are finding the value of sin inverse x dx here. After finding the value of this integral, we will provide the limits. This is the method we are going to adopt here. Now, what is x? x equal to sin t. dx is cos t dt, which will give integral of sin and sin inverse and sin inverse get cancelled. That is integral of t cos t dt. Now, what is integral of t cos t dt? That is, we are applying integration by parts here. That is, integral of, that is, u is t, v is cos t. Then, applying integration by parts, we will get t into integral of cos t minus whole integral of derivative of t into integral of cos t dt dt. That is u into integral of v minus integral of derivative of u into integral of v dt. Okay. This is the method of integration by parts. Now, the next step, what is integral of cos t? That is sin t. What is dt by dt? 1. Again, integral of cos t will give sin t. That is, we get t sin t minus integral of sin t dt. What is sin t dt integral of minus cos t? That is, we will get the result t sin t plus cos t plus c. This is the final result. Now, we have to apply the limits of integration. Before that, we are changing this function. That is here, the function is in terms of t. We have to change it in terms of x in order to apply the limits of integration. Now, integral 0 to 1, sorry. In order to change the function in terms of x, then first note that x equal to sin t. Then what is t? That is sin inverse of x. Sin t is x itself. What about cos t? Cos t is square root of 1 minus sin square t. What is sin t? x then sin square t will give square root of 1 minus x square. That is cos t is 1 minus square root of 1 minus sin square t. Here sin square t is sin t is x then sin square t is x square. So we get the function in terms of x. Next, we are going to apply the limits of integration. That is integral 0 to 1 sin inverse x dx equal to equal to sin inverse of x into x plus square root of 1 minus x square from 0 to 1. We are not using c here since it is the definite integral. We can avoid this C here. Now, on applying limit, at first we have to apply the upper limit, then the lower limit. Okay, that is sine inverse of 1 into 1 plus square root of 1 minus 1 minus the lower limit, that is sine inverse of 0 into 0 will give 0 plus square root of 1 minus 0. Sin in what is sin inverse of 1? That is pi by 2. Pi by 2 here 0. What about this? Minus square root of 1. So we get our final result as pi by 2 minus 1. So integral 0 to 1 sin inverse of x dx equal to pi by 2 minus 1.